KMR, welcome back to the channel. We've got this beautiful 20B setup that we just finished balancing, side cutting, matching, and put a little polish on the eccentric shaft before it goes out. And I figured it was a great opportunity to talk a little bit about what these setups get when we work with them at Mazda Tricks or KMR. Obviously three rotors are getting rare at this point. I think I've talked about it in a couple of the last videos. So with this setup, we ended up uh, subbing in third generation FD3S RX-7 rotors versus the original 20B rotors. And then obviously you wanna have as close of a gram split as possible to those three rotors for matching and for balancing, especially with three rotors, multi-rotors, uh, like four rotors, five rotors, six rotors, having closer and closer gram spreads, even when you're dealing with balancing really helps out. Cause like I've talked about before, I don't like to hack up the rotors too much. At Mazda Trix KMR, we do balancing just as the piston world does. We're balancing the counterweights to the paired up rotors therefore giving a high speed balance to the whole rotating assembly. Obviously it's good to match your rotors, um, but we're not individually balancing the rotors. I think some people always talk about this and one of the things I remind people is always remember the rotors only supported on one side, it's hung by the gear. So it's not going to be a perfect balance anyways. And they're liquid filled with oil. So you have oil slosh in the chambers. There's actually a mathematical calculation to that within the balancing. And that's something we use with Mazda tricks that they got from Mazda. So that's a little bit about the balancing process. And then you can see, obviously, because these rotors were third generation rotors, we gave them a sequence. They're matched to the counterweights now. And the counterweights are where the work was done. <clears throat> In the case of the front counterwork, we actually had to, had to add heavy metal, which is uh, Mallory went into this to adjust the weight enough to get paired with the matching now FD3S rotors. And then uh, interestingly enough, in the rear, there was no material added. It was just a small amount material removed. So I always find it interesting uh, whether or not you're dealing with a factory rotor setup, or in this case where we're dealing with three non-20B rotors that were matching to 20B counterweights that came from a rotating assembly. This shaft, those counterweights came from a motor, just not those rotors. And here you have such an interesting uh, balancing degree where we were adding material to the front counterweight, removing it to the rear to neutralize the balance and create a balanced assembly that can rotate at high boost, high RPM, um, and still have longevity and duration along with its performance. We didn't end up lightening these rotors. I always think that's a great option. Uh, but with this particular motor, I think they're aiming for about 600 horsepower. Um, so just fresh bearings, side cutting, polishing. Obviously, I'd love to recommend a WPC treatment, lightening, the works. But uh, it does get expensive, so we opted to trim the sides of the rotors. And that's going to allow for a little more movement of the rotor at high RPM because the rotor does have to carry a little bit of weight. But these are low compression and in regards to weight of rotors within the 13B field, some of the lightest rotors that were made outside of lightweight rotors or RX-8 rotors. And I don't really like running RX-8 rotors in RX-7 or Cosmo motors. Um, there's a lot of reasons. You can check out some of the other videos. So I like to keep uh, traditional rotors in traditional uh, kind of motor builds, even though we do play a lot with the hybrid and the Renesis motor in uh, <clears throat> unique configurations. So that's just a little bit about uh, what we do when it comes to balancing. Obviously, we're matching the rotors. We're pairing them up with the counterweights. We're looking at the shaft. We want to make sure everything is basically paired and matched together. And again, we don't necessarily like to hack up the rotors if we can avoid it. So we were able to get a close enough gram spread that all of the, spread that all of the balancing could be done in the counterweights. So if you have any questions about balancing, you're looking to get a motor balanced, you can hit up KMR, you can hit up Mazda Tricks. We do the side cutting, we can polish a shaft, we can supply counterweights. We pretty much got all that good stuff on the shelf. And this balancing process has been done on my race motors, Mazda Tricks race motors, tons of other customer race motors for over 30 years now. And we've never had a complaint. They always work great. 
my 20B motors personally go to roughly 10,000 RPM and 1,000 horsepower, and we never have any issues. So there's just a little bit of info. Feel free to hit us up. I got to get back to work. We got race cars and engines and all kinds of stuff to do today. But before this leaves the building, before it wraps out, I wanted to give a little bit of that spectacular rotary information. Thanks for watching. KMR, wrap out.